Hey, what's up guys? So, very quick video. Uh, this is going to be either boring for you and useless or it's going to be life-changing. So, I'm going to show you how to quickly um, use SGP or you know PhD2, whatever you want uh, on your iPad or iPhone or whatever uh, cell phone you have. So you can just you know play games, watch TV and check your guiding at the same time. So what you want to do is go to Google, for example, and there are several softwares to do that. There are TeamViewer, um, AnyDesk that I'm going to use right now. There's also, I believe, Microsoft um, something. Uh, my favorite is AnyDesk, so I'm going to use that now. And just go to the main page and just click on download. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy and it's free as well. Download this uh, on any device that you want to use. So I plan to use my both my Mac and my iPad and my phone to check my um, my imaging laptop. So have it on all the devices you want to use. So I already have it on my computer here and then I went to my laptop, my imaging laptop and did the same thing. So I downloaded the, uh, the app on there as well. So once you open the software, uh, you will see your, it will give you your own uh, your number, your own address, which is nine numbers and it will also have numbers on every device so it's going to be a, a different number for each device and what you want to do is just type the number like for example if you want to connect your imaging laptop uh, write down the number uh, of your imaging laptop when you open the, uh, the software on there and type it in here the first time you're going to have to confirm uh, manually on the laptop and it will also allow you to set a password so if you set a password then you'll be able to connect uh, every time without having to manually press OK. So that's what I did. Uh, so now my uh, once you put a password, you will have your um, your devices on, on here. So I'm going to click on my imaging laptop and press connect. And now right away without any uh, manual input, I can connect to it and uh, see what happens. So as you can see here, we have the main screen with PhD2. My guiding is going uh, so very so-so, but um, it's, it's pretty quick. <clears throat> right now my computer is in the backyard, and uh, so it's pretty close to the Wi-Fi router, so it's pretty fast, but if you, if you have a large backyard and you put your imaging laptop far, you might have some, uh, some lag issues. But um, see, it's, it's pretty fast, it's pretty easy, it's very responsive, and if you go to the top here on, uh, on quality, you can change between uh, optimized reaction time, balanced, or best video quality. And uh, yeah, I don't really care if it's blurry, so I just put uh, optimized reaction time. But yeah, you can pretty much do anything. So here, for example, I'm imaging um, the tulip nebula, and I can see it live. Now let's move to um, other devices. You can of course, you know, change settings right from your iPad or cell phone and you can you know, navigate through it like a, like a computer pretty much because you're controlling the computer. So this is the mouse and just click once for left click and hold for right click, pretty easy. You can also zoom and pan, okay? And then you can also, if you want, you know, go to your other apps or softwares. For example, right now I'm doing, um, I'm imaging with SGP and I can really quickly see uh, the status of everything here and change everything on the fly. So if I'm in bed, I can just change everything. I can change my filters. I can refocus. I can do pretty much everything through uh, the device. And it also works on the cell phone, of course. So as you can see here, it's loading. And here we go. Same thing. It's pretty awesome. You can just wake up in bed and check if everything is done. It's super nice. And to close it, just close the app entirely.